Good morning, YouTube. This is a great day as today is now the one year anniversary from Wrestler Section 101. This is your What to Watch episode. The champ, Sasha Banks versus Bianca Belair. You all know how I feel about Sasha. She's a great competitor, first ballot Hall of Famer, five-time Raw champion, SmackDown champion, I believe two-time tag team champion, or once tag team champion. I don't know. I'm not sure. I think the two times went to the Peyton Royce and Billy Kay and two times Nia. And, but anyway, back to what I was saying. We do have the challenger, Bianca Belair, and you know her upside is so great. She doesn't call herself the EST for a reason. She calls it because it's fact and it's law. This girl at Fastlane showed me that she is super focused. When Sasha slapped her, I thought she was going to rip Sasha's head off her shoulders. However... She took the high road, and I knew what was going to go down. She confirmed it on SmackDown, saying that she was waiting for the right time, and she had to stay focused on Mania. However, she had a match with Natalia, And when I say a great match, it was a great match because Natalia is going to be a first ballot Hall of Famer. She's a part of the Hart Dynasty. One of the best women wrestlers in the world. Bianca Belair held her own until Sasha came down there and kind of, you know, was distracting her. Got to mean it to get into the match. You know the gist. Then she went to the booth to do commentary, which threw me off. Because it's like you had no person no personal reason to be out there okay during the match she was basically rooting i could not believe this rooting for natalia we're going to see a sasha banks switch very soon for jealousy reasons but anyway this all happens so it was a moment where bianca rolled out of the ring well because she was actually hurt. And Sasha got up talking smack to her again. You notice I used the word talking smack? Because you can guess what ended up happening. Bianca Belair, the strongest, cocked back and let her have it. Since her flying. Now, I'm a huge Sasha Banks fan, but I am an even bigger fan of Bianca Belair. So... This match is going to be something to watch and look out for. I'm sticking with my prediction. I really believe that Bianca Belair will be the next SmackDown Women's Champion. However, Vince does owe Sasha some time because every time she gets a title, she doesn't hold on to it very long. Also, what you guys need to look out for, after WrestleMania, there's always a shakeup, meaning that there's a draft coming back. Some people are going to go to Raw. Some people are going to go to SmackDown because either their storyline or their character is getting stale. But I do not, and I repeat, I do not want Bianca Belair off SmackDown, nor do I want Sasha. Also, if Nia Jax and Shayna Baszler loses the tag team championships, you need to split them up and send them on separate shows immediately and put them back into the heavyweight title matches. You've held them, strung them along long enough I think Shayna Baszler 
she needs to really work on a little bit more of uh, her promos. But Shane is awesome. So is Naya. And it's about time they get back into that situation. So build up the tag team division. If you're going to let um, Natty and uh, Tamina win the tag titles, if they want to go back for the belts one more time, let them do it, have a feud or whatever. But somebody has to go to Raw and somebody has to go to SmackDown to make this better. And that's all I have to say on this episode of what to watch. Like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. I'm gone.